What is up guys, Dr. Alex Tate, a men's health specialist here, and you're probably being lied to. See, there's currently a lot of noise in the men's health space. Whether it's regarding fitness, PRT, male aesthetics, or optimizing sexual performance, there is more interest in men's health than ever before. Now, as somebody who has dedicated his career to men's health and literally helping my fellow man, I think this is awesome. Yet for every piece of good information out there, there are 10 more frauds trying to sell guys something or take advantage of them. Now, that's why we've created this channel here to help combat misinformation and fake news in the men's health space. But I wanted to create a series dedicated to one of my professional passions and what I've dedicated a large portion of my career to, and that is ED and penile implant surgery. ED is one of the most common problems that men will experience in life, affecting 25% of men under 40, up to 50% by age 50, and it only goes up from there. ED can be caused by the natural aging process, diabetes, vascular disease, prostate cancer treatment, injury, or low testosterone. So it is incredibly common, but it is universally devastating. Men with ED are at an increased risk of anxiety, depression, loss of identity, and are more likely to withdraw from meaningful personal relationships, which is why treating ED is so important. But the absolute gold standard for treating ED isn't a pill, a shot, shockwave, PRP, stem cells, or some secret supplement from Amazon. It's a highly specialized, minimally invasive procedure called penile implant placement. So let's talk about it. Welcome to Hard Facts. Before we get into our episode, I need you to do us a favor. Stop right now, take just a second, and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment. Each time you do that, it tells YouTube to recommend this video to others that are looking for good information. So, Hard Facts Episode 1. What is a penile implant? In order to understand what a penile implant is and why it works so well, you have to understand how the penis is supposed to work. The male erection is made up of just two tubes called the corpora cavernosa. These start deep in the pelvis and extend out the shaft of the penis, traveling just above the urethra, also known as the P-tube. When a man is sexually stimulated, blood rushes into these tubes, causing them to expand in both length and girth while becoming firm enough for intercourse. This influx of blood actually allows the penis to pinch off the veins that drain the penis, trapping enough blood inside the corpora to maintain the erection for the duration of sex. Then, once a man climaxes, a pop-off valve opens back up that allows the blood to drain back out into the body and for the erection to go soft. It's actually a fairly elegant but simple hydraulic system. I often tell patients that if they can understand how brakes on a car work, they can understand erections. But problems start when these tubes fail, and they can fail in one of two ways. The first way is structural failure. This is when these tubes experience some sort of injury, noticed or not, and develop scar tissue that causes a lump, bump, or curve. This is known as Peyronie's disease. And if you wanna learn more about that, I recommend you check out our podcast on the topic and stay tuned for Kristen's upcoming series about it. The second way these tubes can fail is hydraulic failure. When the body fails to get enough blood into the penis for an erection, known as arterial insufficiency, or when the penis has lost the ability to trap that blood in place, known as venous leak. This hydraulic failure is erectile dysfunction, and that's why all our treatments for ED are based around this hydraulic mechanism. So what are those treatments? We have oral meds like Viagra, AKA Sildenafil, and Cialis, AKA Tadalafil. These are extremely safe and easy to take, but they only work for mild and sometimes moderate ED. They also have to be timed, taken on an empty stomach, and often have side effects like headache, congestion, and visual changes. Also, studies have shown that oral meds actually don't work for somewhere between 30 and 50% of the men who try them. So what do we do after that? Other tried and true options include intracavernosal injections, vacuum erection devices, or inserting a pellet into the urethra, known as Muse. Each of these options have major drawbacks. None of them are spontaneous, they're all uncomfortable, and they all carry the risk of penile injury and most involve multiple trips back to the doctor for refills. So what do we do for men who just want to get things fixed and put ED behind them? Well, we go back to that original mechanism and treat ED like any other problem in medicine. For example, let's say you have arthritis in your knee and it's bad, like bone on bone bad. We can't fix that with pills or even with shots. You need to go see an orthopedist and get a new knee. Knee replacements look natural, feel natural, and offer fantastic outcomes because we've simply replaced our body's natural broken hinge with a shiny new one. It's replacing like for like. As a specialist, we take the same approach with ED. If that's all that's broken, inflatable tubes, what if we could make a small opening in the skin and put our own inflatable tubes inside your body's natural ones in a way that is totally invisible, internal, and private? 
Then instead of having to rely on pills that don't work or shots that require you to put a needle in your penis, men can reach down and squeeze a small pump that's hidden underneath the skin at the bottom of the scrotum. This then pulls the saline from a small tank hidden inside the abdomen into the inflatable tubes, filling them with fluid the exact same way the body used to fill them with blood flow. Then the penis becomes rock hard and men can use that erection for sex. Then when they're done, they press a small mechanism at the top of the pump, sometimes a button, sometimes two bars, and gently compress the penile cylinders and the erection goes back down. And that is the penile implant, a completely hidden on-demand way for men with ED to get an erection whenever they want that lasts as long as they want, even past the point of orgasm. It doesn't change sensation, orgasm, or ejaculation, it just fixes erection. And this can all be placed in a 20 minute outpatient procedure with minimal discomfort and downtime. It's covered by Medicare, most insurance plans, and we even have cash options with financing for men who require it. I believe in this device and what it can do for men and their loved ones' lives so much that I've dedicated my entire career to it, and I personally perform hundreds of procedures each year. So join us as we dispel the myths surrounding ED and penile implants here on Hard Facts. So what questions do you have about the implant? Leave it in the comments down below and we'll be sure to get to it in later episodes. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we drop our next episode. Till next time, this is Dr. Alex Tatum, signing off.